Hey, 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 all right, everybody. Now, I watched a video this morning. Um, I think if you want to go and look at the ch at the video, uh, his name is Ian Sampson. I think that's the name of the video, uh, the channel, Ian Sampson. That's his name. And he owns a ENV 200, is it? Electric Nissan van. And it, it's not a very nice story, so I'm not going to make light of it. Um, I think his van is seven years old, electric van. And... I think he's got a 24 kilowatt hour battery. So it's the smallest Nissan battery you can have. Um, and the range has dropped drastically. I think he said he's only getting 30 miles to a charge. So he needs something done to the battery. Now, so I was watching the video and I thought seven, I think he, uh, seven years is uh, as, as too short for a battery to sort of end, isn't it? A, a car's life, seven years. Um, because... The average scrappage of a car in the UK is around 14 to 16 years. So that's the average sort of age any sort of car gets scrapped. So if a battery car lasts about 16 years, then that would be that'd be fine. That'd be sort of the average of other cars. Um, I know some people are going to say, I got a diesel, it's 30 years old, uh, I bought it 30 years ago, and I've only had to change one timing belt. I know it'll be somebody who's going to say something like that, right? The average. I'm looking at data, statistics, right? If you've got a 30 year old diesel, it's not the norm, okay? You don't, how many times do you see a 30 year old diesel car driving around? Not very often. Um, so, anyway, back to the story. So, the story is that um, there's something wrong with his battery after seven years. Now, he said that on that particular battery, it was a five year warranty and 60,000 miles, I think. I'm not quite sure. But it was a five-year warranty, so he's over the five-year warranty. Now, more modern cars have an eight-year warranty, so he'd still be all right to replace the battery. Uh, I suppose, unless the mileage was high. And I think the mileage was close to 90,000 miles. Um, now, I've looked, I watched the video, and I've gone into the comment section. And what do you think I saw in the comment section? All the people who hate EVs going, I told you so, I told you so. Remember, though, they always said batteries only last three years or five years, but it's has lasted seven. So <laughs> it's lasted longer, and it's lasted longer and even longer than what the people said it would last. But that's still, it's still not lasting long enough, right? So in the comments section, people have gone, I told you so, uh, rubbish, rubbish. But what are his options? What are, the, what are his options? Now, that battery has got problems. So, uh, and I'm not saying it's good, because uh, people call me an evangelist. But I'm pointing out that the battery has failed after seven years, right? And it's not his fault. It's no no fault of his own. It's just happened, right? What, maybe one of the cells has gone. Maybe two of the cells has gone. But what options do you have if you've got a 24 uh, kilowatt hour battery pack in a Nissan? Well, I've looked up and you can buy individual, like, cell packs um, on eBay. And I think they were, I'll put it up by here now, uh, it was £77 for individual cell packs. Uh, so, and I think I think on that actual advert it stated the health of the pack. So if you are going to buy second-hand battery parts, check the health. See if they check the health on the battery because you don't want to buy something second-hand and it's just as rubbish as the battery you got. So the one option is to have check the battery over and see if it's just one individual pack that you can change and then, you know, it'll, it'll keep the life of the battery going longer. Um, what's the second option? The second option is you could buy... Now, I did see a 30 kilowatt hour battery for sale for five and a half thousand pounds i'll put that up by, by here now um and that did i think that did give the state no i'm not quite sure like i said if you buy a second hand battery you need to know the actual state of health before the, the say the car was written off or for some reason or another you need to know if it wasn't written off for the battery because then you, you're just in a hang on, excuse me <coughs> um you're in the same problem so, so you can buy individual uh, modules, or you can replace the battery with a second-hand one um, from a, a scrapyard, I suppose. Take a chance. <laughs> Hopefully, they've done a reading, 
there are 24 hour kilowatt batteries out there as well for sale they're a little bit cheaper second hand then there's 40 kilowatt hour batteries for sale but when you change the battery packs um you can't just change them like you can't just put them in and you've got to do some software add a few things um i think there was a company called Cleveley. they were doing it but then ian sampson said they've had problems with the the software maybe i think i'm not quite sure so there's options i mean you could clearly could probably take the battery apart for you and check individual cells change a module over and you could carry on so there are a few options um i mean the other option is the cars are right off which would be a shame because it's only a seven-year-old car uh but there are options but uh, the reason i made this video is because uh, like like i said it's it's, it's terrible at this car. He's having these problems. It's going to cost money to fix it. Um, and that's not nice for any car. You've got to spend money. Uh, I've just had a car, a petrol car myself, where the power steering pump unit went. And it was £1,500 just to have a power steering pump put in by Vauxhall because it had to be coded and whatnot. And I don't know. So it was £1,500 just for a power steering pump. I mean, cars have gone mental nowadays. Uh, so... Like I said, I went into the comment section and it was all the people there, the usual people going, oh, I told you so, I got a diesel car, I've had it for 20 years, I got a petrol car, I only paid so-and-so for it, and blah, blah, blah. They're all, they're all piling on now, they're all on there. Um, but there are options, there are options, and I hope that Ian can find a cheaper option to solve his problem, to keep that car, the van going, because he said he really likes the van. Uh, I say van, it's, I think it's a seven-seater it's based on the van, but it's a seven-seater for carrying his family around. So I hope that somebody has seen his video and somebody who knows about batteries can steer him in the right direction for the cheapest possible price. Because there they are. There they are ways to do it. I mean, he could... He, there's probably... He could sell the van, but then I think he's going to lose out. He did also say in the... Um, in the video that if he works out all the costs he spent for fuel and whatnot, it does work out pretty good over the seven years but like i said seven years for a battery to fail uh, isn't very good but there's another sort of aspect to this the battery is only 24 kilowatt hours now hear me out i may be wrong <laughs> you can tell me in the comment section um so the battery is only 24 kilowatt hours right okay uh, battery okay so that means that it's got a short it, it, you know, it can't go very far without being charged, which means it's got to be charged more. And my, say you had a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, you'd only have to charge a third an amount of time of a 24 hour one, 24 hour kilowatt one. Do you understand what I'm saying? The smaller the battery pack, the more times it's got to be charged. So you're going through more cycles. Um, so on that aspect, a bigger battery pack it's going to last longer, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking in my head anyway. Um, because you're charging it less to go the same distance. Because obviously you've got a bigger range on a bigger battery. Bigger range, less charging. Smaller battery, smaller range, more charging. Um, and then this is the other aspect as well. Is that the Nissan Leaf early batteries are known for not being very good. Uh, because they haven't got any proper thermal cooling they haven't they're not uh, liquid cooled they just air blows over the pack um so when you charge do a fast charge or any charge it hasn't got the liquid cooling to keep them batteries cool and keeping them batteries in the right temperature is what gives the battery a longer life so are we are we gonna just assume by his car battery going that every car battery is going to go after seven years no the answer is no <laughs> um i think modern batteries in the latest cars are going to last 15 years plus um even in some cases they might last 20 years now i that's just my opinion just my opinion okay um but i think all the new modern batteries with the bigger battery packs and the liquid cooling are going to last 15 years plus which sort of tallies up with the average UK scrappage, right? Okay, like I said, I know people are going to say, I got a 25-year-old diesel, uh, blah, 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 blah. 
I'm talking about the average age, okay? Now, some some batteries might last longer than 15 years. Some might last less. I'm just, just giving my opinion. So, calm down. You there, I can see you. <laughs> you with a diesel car, getting annoyed. Calm down. Um, so, there we are. That's, that's just my take on... Um, it is quite sad, so... Uh, like I said, if anybody knows of anything, any way to get him out of it, go over to his channel, have a look, give him a message and say, this is the cheapest way you can do it. But uh, it is quite sad, but I don't think that's the sort of going to be the normal of car batteries, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> well, I don't think it is. I don't Because, uh, like I said, a bigger battery pack is going to do more miles and last longer. Anyway, that's my little take on the video. Uh, I'll, I'll try and link it in the description so you can go and have a look. But, um, yeah, there we go. That's my video for today. So, anyway, subscribe, click the notification bell, and, and uh, all them sorts of things, and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo!